The monthly Shackleton Static Engine run of Saturday the 30th of June 2018 was cut short due to an happening that was definitely not business as usual. No one saw this one coming. The museum at Air Force Base Eisterplatt in Cape Town is in possession of the world's last remaining airworthy AVO Shackleton MR3, probably best known for those unique counter-rotating propellers. Since it is too valuable to fly, the next best thing to thrill the public is to experience the almighty roar of those four Rolls-Royce Griffin's 37-liter V12 engines near full throttle. In summer, the prevailing winds are from the southeast, and since the engine runs are always done facing the wind, Pelican 22 then gets parked with its back to the hangars in the distance, and the spectators up against the perimeter wall. In winter, when the northwesterlies normally blow, the setup is reversed. This has never been a problem, except on 30 June 2018. Let's see how this engine run went. As can be seen from the trees behind the aircraft beforehand, it was a slightly windy day. There goes the signal to start engine 3. It is quite cold, so struggles a little to get going. Keep an eye on those palm trees as number 3 picks up revs. to start engine 4. struggled a bit more. Notice the palm trees now. Number two starting. See how relatively calm the gum trees are in the background. took this very nice close-up of number one starting. Zoomed out again and watch those palms with four engines busy warming up as the auxiliary power truck departs. Johan also notices the palms and zooms in onto them. Four minutes into the engine run, he pans away to the two fire trucks one by one. Hope he's not going to miss any action, particularly with the guy in the orange overall getting into position. The crouching position is always the cue to brace himself for not getting sucked into the props when the engines are being throttled up. Unfortunately, the roar of those griffins are so loud that they saturate the camera's microphone and the stroboscopic beating of the camera frames does not reflect the engines being throttled up. But today the palms help to tell the story. A wheel shock being blown away is not a clue that those V12s are now being pushed into the red. As 
case your Han's very sturdy tripod is having trouble staying still, it happens. Let's watch it again in slow motion. See how the crack first appears in the wall. Now watch how the short wall also cracks up. As it topples over, it takes the gate with it. At exactly the same time, one of the palm trees also gets blown over. Luckily, Johan had the whole incident perfectly framed. Watch it again while seeing the reaction of our kneeling observer on the right. Watch him frantically communicating with the pilot and ground crew to abort the run. As ground crew rushes to the scene, Johan zooms in on it as well. What's the guy with a camo dress having to fight the force of the already throttled back propellers? The next moment engines 1, 2 and 3 are cut. With number 4 still doing its last little rev up as always. Nice. Yeah.